Hi, Dennis Evers, Godfather Prepper. Today I want to show you how to build an LED trouble light for when the power goes down. And this little unit is extremely bright, it's inexpensive, and it allows you to work in the shop, in the house. You can read by it, you can play games by it, eat by it, cook by it. Uh, it is just an extremely versatile little light. And again, it's extremely uh, inexpensive. The whole thing can be put together for about uh, eight bucks give or take. So uh, let's get started. This thing doesn't require a lot of uh, uh, power so we can use a smaller cord. So in our case I've scrounged an old transformer here that I won't use. So what I'm going to do is this. We're going to take and cut this off. Cut the two ends off and then we end up with about six feet of power cord to run our little light. Now you can get a longer cord if you want if you want to spend money and buy one, that's fine. What you want to do is strip both ends. Now, on the end that gets the power, what I do, pull it wide enough so you can hook it onto a battery, and then what I do is tie a knot in it to keep it from spreading. Take that, spin it, and what you've got here are a couple of alligator clips. These are available at Radio Shack or electronic places. They have a screw-on deal, and I, well, that's okay. I prefer to solder them. Pull your ends off. It is not polarized so it really doesn't matter which one goes where. This device will work on both. Uh, you can flip flop it and it'll still work. So it's got a circuit inside of it that allows you to run it uh, negative, positive, positive, negative. Really doesn't matter. So what I've done is taken the screws out and I am going to push this through here and into that hole. Now when you're working on it and soldering them, if you decide to solder them as opposed to just screw them in there, you can take the old power supply and what that does is it allows you to work on them without trying to track them and chase them all around the, the uh, table. Okay, I've got my wire through it. So now all I need to do is grab a little piece of solder and solder that to there. Make sure it's good and hot. That's the key to soldering. Just heat is the answer. There you go. All done. I'll do the other one and then we'll do the other side. Okay, these have been soldered and uh, all you got to do is put your little sleeves on those. Let's work on the other side, let's work on the uh, actual lamp side real quick. Then what we do is we take our solder and we make sure we got, a, again, plenty of heat, but don't melt the plastic or the enclosure, although it is a heat resistant. Get those tinned, make sure they got plenty of solder on them. And then you take that and I usually just put a little bit of uh, solder on the tip and then you heat it up and presto you are done. Put a little solder on that. Now before we uh, cover those leads we want to test it and all this is this is just a uh, uh, 7 amp hour battery out of a computer backup these things are really handy to have around if you do have a power outage and you have one of these that's all charged up you can take it and take it into the house hook up your light and yep we got light and it is really an amazingly bright you can see just how bright it is this thing really belts out the power and it just sips the electricity. So you can uh, read, cook, whatever, and uh, hang this from a ceiling or whatever and have plenty of light to get around, play games, whatever you need to do. So what we're going to do now is cover these and we're done. Okay, now there is one final thing I do. Uh, take a piece of tape after you test it and make sure it works. And all this is is just so you don't short out anything if it happens to touch a piece of metal or whatever. 
Just take a piece of electrical tape and wrap it around a couple times and transition it down and that will keep it from falling off or excuse me, that will keep it from pulling out and we are done and you've got yourself a handy little spotlight, floodlight for use in a power outage take it outside you can hook these cables to your uh, car battery if you want to make a longer one you can change a tire with it, you can make one for your car make one for your house or take the one from the house out to the car and vice versa but uh, any way you have it you really can't have enough of these you can put a couple in uh, in the house so you can see where you're headed and they're great to prove my point about this being an amazing light here is uh, just this light everything else is off it's dark and uh, this is just our LED light you could do anything you needed to read work even fine detail work with it and that's all that is is just this little light and uh, this thing is absolutely bulletproof